If you want to make a fluffy bunny bucket hat, make sure to keep watching this video and subscribe to my channel for more amazing tutorials. <laughs> For this tutorial, these are the materials that you're going to need. First, scissors, then a 4.5mm crochet hook, and a 3.75mm crochet hook, a yarn needle, some sort of stitch marker, I'm just using a safety pin, and optional are some measuring tapes in case your head is a different size than mine. The three yarns I'm going to be using today are black, and this is the brand and type that I'm using, pink, and white. So I'm using this kind of fluffier white, which I think is super cute. You can just use normal white, whatever, or whatever other colors you guys want to use. So let's get started. So to start off, we're going to be making the actual hat part. So we're going to start in our round at the top of our heads. So make a magic circle. To make a magic circle, you're going to twist the yarn around your fingers and then when you get to the top, cross it over and make an X. Then just go underneath that first strand and grab that second strand and pull it through. Don't pull through too much, just like this. And then you can just turn your hands this way. And there's your magic circle. So to get your finger situated, you're gonna pinch right here with your left hand like this and you can kind of pull up that long strand of yarn with your left hand so then we're going to chain one which should make your magic circle more secure then we're going to make eight half double crochets into the magic circle so to make a half double crochet you're going to yarn over then insert your hook underneath your magic circle then yarn over and pull up your yarn then you have three strands on your hook and you're gonna wanna yarn over and pull through all three loops. Then we're gonna make seven more of these. Yarn over, insert your hook into the magic circle, yarn over and pull through, yarn over and pull through all three of your loops. Okay, so once you have eight half double crochets in your magic circle, you're going to take this little tail end and pull that to close your magic circle and in your eighth one or actually like your first one but eighth from your hook you're gonna take your um, stitch marker and then just insert that underneath the stitch so that you know your beginning stitch and then into each stitch around we're gonna make an increase so we're gonna put two half double crochets into each stitch so actually since we're about to go into the stitch we don't want that in there so yarn over and insert your hook underneath both of the loops that make the V then you're gonna yarn over and pull through yarn over and pull through all three we're going to put our safety pin into the stitch before that one as the mark of the end so we're gonna put our last stitches into this one before moving on to the next pattern for the next row so again we need two half double crochets into that stitch so we need one more okay and then two in the next one and repeat that and I'll meet you guys all the way around okay so I just placed two half double crochets in the same stitch with my stitch marker so now I can remove that stitch marker and I'm gonna place it back into that top stitch that we just made and then we're gonna move on to the next pattern for the next round which is going to be making one half double crochet in the first stitch and then an increase in the second stitch so now we're gonna put two half double crochets and that's the pattern all the way around so the next one we're going to do only one half double crochet and then the next stitch we're gonna put an increase So continue to repeat this all the way around and I'll meet you back at our stitch marker. Okay, so here we are my stitch marker. I've placed it into that last stitch that we just did and now we're going to move on to the next row. So we're going to make a half double crochet into the first stitch 
And then we're gonna make another half double crochet into the second stitch. And then in the third stitch, we're gonna make an increase. And that's the pattern. So make two normal half double crochet stitches and then increase into the third one. Once you guys have done that all the way around, I will meet you guys back. So here I am after the last row. Now we're going to go ahead and make our next increase pattern. So we're gonna do three normal stitches with half double crochet and then increase in the next one. So I'm sure you see the pattern. So first we did increases in every stitch, then we do one, and then it increase, and two, and then it increase, and now we're on three, and then it increase, and then it's going to be four, and then it increase, and then five, and then it increase, and we're just going to continue doing that until our crown, until our crown is, until our crown is seven inches wide. That's for my head. I'll put on the screen a picture. So if you wrap this around your head about above the ears, you'll get the circumference of your head. <laughs> Mine's like 22 or something. So I'm an adult large. So yeah, the crown of my hat needs to be about seven inches. So you can go and measure your head and see what the crown of your hat should be, or you can just make what would fit me. I'm a 17 year old girl. Um, yeah, and then I'll teach you guys how to do the other measurements as we go. For this row, it's going to be make three half double crochets across three stitches one two three and then in the fourth we're gonna put two half double crochets so repeat that all the way around your circle so this next row we're going to be making you guessed it four normal half double crochets so one half double crochet in each of the first four stitches and then we're gonna make an increase into the next one. And that's the pattern all the way around. One half double crochet in the next four stitches and then an increase. And I'll see you guys back at the stitch marker. Okay, for the next row, we're gonna put one half double crochet into the next five stitches and then an increase into the sixth. And we're going to be repeating that all the way around. So one half double crochet into the first stitch, the second stitch, third stitch, fourth stitch, fifth stitch, and then our increase. And then we're going to just continue that. So five more half double crochets, and then increase. And I'll meet you guys back when you get to the stitch marker. For the next row, we're going to put six half double crochets. So in the first six stitches, we're putting one half double crochet, and then we're going to increase into the seventh stitch. So repeat that pattern all the way around, and I'll meet you when you get back to the stitch marker. So the last row we just made was just over seven inches. If you guys want your hat to be smaller, maybe undo that row. Um, yeah. And if you want it to be bigger, you can add another row. So now we're gonna move on to the hat length. So when we fold it in half, we're gonna wanna keep adding rows until it reaches about seven inches or so. Um, just so that it's long enough where it's just near your eyebrows when you put it on. That way when we add the brim part and it goes down a little bit, it's like the perfect height for you. So I will continue showing you guys how to do this. So the next row, we're gonna want our hat to curve downwards. So we're just gonna go only in the front loops of each V. So just under that first loop, not under the second one behind it. And we're gonna wanna put one half double crochet into each front loop. No more increases or anything like that, so you don't have to worry about losing count like I do. So we're going all the way around, just going underneath our front loops. Again, there's two loops in each V, so the front loop would just be that one. All right, so I'll meet you guys back when you guys reach the safety pin, and we will continue on with our hat. Okay, so after that last row, you should notice your hat starting to curve. I like to fold mine kind of back the other way as I keep adding rip stitches so that this part can be on the outside. So now for our next several rows, 
as many rows as it takes to get to your seven inches or when you put it on it's like about your eye rows or a little bit higher up you're just gonna add one half double crochet and to each stitch around for so many rows it's really nice not having to count honestly also we're going under both loops now the front loops were just so that we could get that bend okay so i added seven rows this is what my hat looks like and i will go ahead and take a measurement for you guys so if i fold my hat in half my hat is pretty much seven inches long so i'm going to teach you guys how to make the brim part and we do have an increased pattern for this one so we're going to Put one half double crochet into the first four stitches in the front loops only all the way around in the fifth stitch we're gonna add an increase so i have the first four half double crochets and now in the fifth one i'm going to add two and i'm still only going under the front loop so continue that pattern all the way around in the next form just put one half double crochet and then in the fifth one, put two. And I'll meet you guys back at the stitch marker. It should be like kind of folding up a little bit. And now we're gonna go ahead and make the second row of the brim, which is gonna follow another increase pattern. So we're gonna go under both loops now, and we're gonna put one half double crochet into the first six stitches. And then in the seventh stitch, we're gonna add an increase. So I finished my first six half double crochets and now I'm putting two half double crochets into the next stitch. And that's the pattern all the way around. So I'll meet you guys back when you get to your stitch marker. All right, so this is what my brim looks like. Now we're gonna move on to the third row, which is going to be eight half double crochets and then an increase. So for the first eight stitches, we're gonna put one half double crochet and then in the ninth, we're going to add an increase. So repeat that pattern all the way around and I'll meet you guys back at our stitch marker. For our last row, we're just gonna make one half double crochet into each stitch around. And I'll meet you guys back when you're at the stitch marker and show you guys how to end your hats. So I made it all the way around and as you can see, I stopped two stitches to, with two stitches to go so in the stitch before my stitch marker stitch I'm gonna add a single crochet so you don't yarn over first you just insert your hook into the stitch and then yarn over pull your loops up yarn over and pull through both loops then in the stitch with my stitch marker I'm going to take that out. I'm going to add a slip stitch. So insert your hook without yarning over, then yarn over and pull through, then just pull through the stitch on your hook. Then to tie off, I'm going to chain one, pull my yarn up, and then I'm going to cut it and pull up. This is about the length of my finger. And that's your hat. So now it's time to weave in the ends. So to weave in my ends, I turn my hat inside out. You should have an end in your circle. I weaved in mine as I went, but you're gonna wanna weave that one in as well. Find your end, put it in your sewing needle, and then through the back side, I just go along underneath the two loops of each stitch. After like four or five, it's like an, it's enough. All right, then we're just gonna pull right through those loops, pull out a little bit, and trim off those extra. I'm gonna put my hat back right side out, and then we're gonna move on to making the ears. So set your hat aside. All right, so this is kind of the blueprint for the ear. So here's the first one that I made, and then I'm gonna show you how to make the second one, and just make sure that you guys make two of these. Okay, so to start off, we're gonna make a slip knot. So do the same thing you did to make a magic circle, but pull it all the way up, and then tighten it to your hook. Then we're going to chain seven.
Once you have seven chains, we're going to skip the first chain and then we're going to single crochet into each stitch. So we'll have six single crochets total. Okay, then we're going to turn our work and we're going to chain one and we're going to single crochet into each stitch along and I'm weaving in my ends as I go. So as you can see, I'm pinching my end along the top and then I'm just single crocheting over it and it's being woven in as I go across the row. You can also just weave it in later, so don't worry if that's too confusing. All right, so when you reach the end of your row, go ahead and chain one, turn your work, and repeat down the other side. So single crochet, six, and chain one when you get to the end. Do this until you have a total of eight rows. So currently we have one, two, and I'll see you guys back. Okay, so this is what it looks like after eight rows for row nine. We're going to make an increase at both ends. So we're going to put two single crochets into our first stitch. Then we're going to go ahead and single crochet all the way to the end of the row. And in our last stitch, we're going to put two single crochets again. So that is row nine. For row 10, chain one and turn. And we're going to do a very similar thing. Put two stitches into the first stitch, single crochet all the way to the end of the row. And in our last stitch, put two single crochets. Now chain one. And for next five rows, we're just going to put single crochets all the way down our rows. So we're going to have 10 single crochets total per row. And we're going to repeat this for five rows. This will be finished at row 15 if you want to count from the bottom. Once you've finished row 15, I'll meet you guys back for row 16. For row 16, we're going to chain one, turn over, and we're going to put a single crochet increase on both ends again. So in the first stitch, put two single crochet stitches, then put one single crochet in the remaining stitches and then in the last stitch we're going to add two single crochets again so i'm at the last stitch and i'm going to put two single crochets okay chain one turn and then for the next eight rows we're going to put one single crochet into each stitch across so repeat this until you've finished row 24 and i'll meet you guys back all right we're making some progress for row 25 chain one and turn then we're going to make a single crochet decrease at both ends. So start like you're doing a single crochet and pull your yarn up, but instead of yarning over and pulling through, insert your hook into the second stitch and yarn over and pull up. And then with the three loops that are on your hook, yarn over and pull through all three of them. This kind of combines both of those stitches into one stitch. Then. And the rest of the stitches, except for the last two, just make one single crochet. All right, when you have two left, do another decrease, insert your hook, and yarn over. Insert your hook into the next stitch, yarn over. Then, in the remaining three, yarn over and pull through. Then, for the next row, chain one and turn. And for two rows, we're going to just make one single crochet in each stitch across. So you should have 10 single crochets total. All right, chain one turn, and for the second row, do the same thing. All right, for the next and last three rows, we're going to be making one single crochet decrease at both ends. So go ahead and do a single crochet decrease, then single crochet down the row until you have two stitches left. In the remaining two stitches, single crochet, decrease them together, chain one, turn, then another single crochet decrease to start off this row, single crochet all the way down until you have two stitches left. Single crochet, decrease the remaining two together. Chain one and turn. Do a single crochet, decrease. Two single crochets. And your final single crochet, decrease. This is your ear. And now to make it look better, see how the edges are a little bit like weird? We're gonna go ahead and chain one. And we're gonna single crochet all the way around. But there are some specific spots 
that we're gonna add an anchor so that it looks better. So those spots are gonna be in the corners. I added three single crochets in each corner. Also right here where we have like this little dip, I put two single crochets um, just to kind of accentuate the curves. And then lastly, around here to make it look more like curved, see um, around here it's kind of like flat and then I just add one single crochet like looser than my other single crochets. So let's put one single crochet into each corner, into each row I mean, until we get down to our little curve. Alright, so when you get here, we're going to go ahead and put two single crochets into this corner stitch or in this general area, if you can find it on yours. And then we're just going to put a single crochet into the flat parts all the way down to the corner. When you get to the corner stitch, go ahead and put three single crochets in that stitch. I know it's a lot, but trust me, it makes it look very beautiful. Then when you have three, then just go across this edge like normal. And then when you reach this other corner, make sure to put three single crochets in it. Then go ahead and put one single crochet into each row again as you make your way down to the next little corner area to put two single crochets into. So right here, I'm gonna add two single crochets. But that's kind of where I put my single crochet. Then just go ahead and put one single crochet in the remaining rest and when you get to this like little corner area here just make a looser single crochet. Alright so I've made it all the way around and now I'm just gonna put a slip stitch, chain one, and then I'm going to cut off my work. Pull that tight and then go ahead and weave in the end through the back side and then make yourself another one and I'll meet you guys back for the pink part. All right, so next we're adding the pink part to our ears. And I'm gonna show you how to do this. So first you're gonna wanna switch to your 3.75 millimeter crochet hook or whatever size will work for your yarn. This yarn is a lot thinner than my white yarn was. And in case your yarn, in case your yarn's like too thick, basically how I figured out how to do this is I drew out my ear shape and for the pink, I drew up my inner ear and how far away from the white I wanted it to be. And then I just chained as long as this was. And then as I added each row, I was just seeing if it would fit. And if it needed to be bigger, I'd add increases on both ends. And if it needed to stay the same, I would just keep it the same. And if it needed to decrease, I would decrease on both ends. So that's what you can do to make sure that you get the ears to be like the shape that you want. So mine literally fit onto my little charts. Um, so yeah, but in case everything's working out for you, if you have the same yarn as me, um, I'll show you how I made my ears. So I made a slip knot. Oops, wrong end. <laughs> then for the pink, I started by chaining six. Okay, so then you're gonna wanna skip your first chain and make a single crochet into your second chain and make single crochets all the way down. You should have five single crochets. Once you get to the end, chain one, and for the next six rows, you should just single crochet into each stitch across. Chain one at the end, repeat, and repeat that until you have a total of seven rows. For the next row, we're going to put a single crochet increase in the first stitch and the last stitch. So put two single crochets into your first stitch, then one single crochet into the next ones, and in the last one, add two single crochets, then chain one, and in the next row, we're just adding one single crochet into every stitch. When you get to the end of the row, chain one and turn, and we're going to put another single crochet increase into both sides. So single crochet two into the first stitch, and then do one single crochet into each stitch except for the last one. In the last stitch, we're putting two single crochets. Then in the next two rows, we're just going to single crochet across. 
So I'll meet you back in two rows after you've put one single crochet into each stitch. Alright, for the next row we're going to put a single crochet increase on both sides. So single crochet two into that first stitch, single crochet across, and put two single crochets into that last stitch. Then for the next five rows, just put one single crochet into every stitch across. So when you finish row 18, I'll meet you guys back. For row 19, we're gonna put a single crochet increase in both sides. Then we're going to single crochet all the way across. And when you get to the end, put two single crochets into that stitch. For row 20, we're just gonna put a single crochet into each stitch. No increases, no decreases. For the next row, we're gonna put an increase into both sides. So put two single crochets in the first stitch, single crochet all the way across and in the last stitch add a single crochet increase so the next four rows we're just going to add one single crochet into each stitch across so right now we're on row 22 and when you get to row when you finish row 25 i'll meet you guys back all right so this is what it should look like and for the next row we're going to put a decrease into both ends so insert your hook Yarn over, pull through, insert your hook into the next stitch, yarn over, pull through, yarn over and pull through the three loops. Then single crochet like normal until you have two stitches left. All right, then do another single crochet decrease, insert your hook, yarn over, pull through, insert your hook into the next stitch, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through all three loops. Then chain one, and for the next seven rows, you're just gonna single crochet all the way down the row like normal. So when you finish row 33, I'll meet you guys back. All right, for row 34, we're gonna put a single crochet decrease on both ends. So make a single crochet decrease with the first two stitches, then single crochet until you have two stitches left in the row. Then with the last two, make another single crochet decrease. For the next row, we're just going to Put single crochets into each stitch. Then for the next four rows, we're going to put a single crochet decrease on both ends and then single crocheting in between those. So put a single crochet decrease in the first two stitches, single crochet to the end of the row until there are two stitches left and put a single crochet decrease into the last two stitches. And repeat this for the next three rows and I'll meet you guys back. All right, so like we did with the white, we're gonna single crochet around the edges so that we can kind of smooth out these different curve areas. The only places that I add an increase now are in the corners and I add three single crochets into each corner. I don't really worry about increasing anywhere else um, along the sides. So make sure to start with a chain one and then just add single crochets all the way around, increasing in the corners, and I'll meet you guys back. All right, so make sure to weave in your ends. All right, so there's two sides. The pretty side, I want on the outside, so I want that to lay like that, and I want the pink to be on the inside. So to sew on the pink, I'm gonna flip over to the awkward side of the white, and then I'm gonna find the pretty side of the pink and lay that on top. And I just wove in a, a needle with some plain white thread so that it's less visible. And I'm just gonna sew these together by just going up and down through right underneath where the V's are. And I'm gonna so in each and every stitch, and I like using the thread because you just, you can't see it on either side and it's really nice. So go ahead and repeat this with yours. You can also sew it in with, I would recommend the white yarn because you'll be able to see the pink through the white, but if you see like white here, it would look better. So I'll meet you guys back after you finish sewing your ears together. Okay, congratulations on finishing the ears. Now it's time to move on to the cute little nose. 
So to make the nose, again, we're using our smaller crochet needle, 3.75 millimeters. Go ahead and make a slip knot. Chain four. Then we're gonna make single crochets into the last three stitches. So just skip the first two. Then chain one. And we're gonna put a single crochet decrease into all of the stitches. So insert your hook into the first stitch, yarn over and pull through. Insert your hook into the next stitch, yarn over, pull through. Insert your hook into the next stitch, yarn over and pull through. Yarn over and pull through all of the loops on your hook. Then chain one and single crochet into that top stitch. Now this doesn't look that cute, so what we have to do is chain one and single crochet all the way around. So in the corner stitches, add three single crochets. One, two, three, so that we accentuate the corners. Then make one single crochet into that row and add three single crochets into this next part. Then add a single crochet across and three single crochets into this next corner and then single crochet to where we started. And then when you get back, we're gonna slip stitch into that corner, into your hook, yarn over, pull through, and through. So to tie off, we're going to chain one and don't cut off um, too close because we want to save some yarn to sew the nose on. So that's like our little triangle. And now we have the ears. And the only other thing we need are the eyes, but we can sew those on later. So to figure out where on your hat to sew things, I like to put my hand inside my hat and make it look more round like so. That way I can kind of figure out what it'll look like when it's on me. So I'm gonna place my nose about two rows up from where our bend is and then just go underneath. So that's kind of where I'm sewing mine. Two rows up from the brim start. And then when I go up through, I'm going on underneath both of the two loops that make the V for the stitch. And then just do that all the way around and I'll meet you guys back. All right, so to sew on the ears, I'm cutting off a strand of my white yarn. Then I am finding my little circle on the top and I'm gonna line that up with the back side of my ear. So my ears aren't gonna be perfectly centered. I want them to be more visible on the front. And I'm actually gonna line it up with that second single crochet. This is just my personal preference and I'm sewing in on the fourth row. I got that tied underneath and now I'm just going to make sure that I sew it on straight. Just going up and through, down, through, and continue that on both sides with both ears and I'll meet you guys back when the hat is done. Okay, so once you have your ears on, it should be starting to look super cute. We're gonna go ahead and we're just gonna cut off a little portion of our black yarn and we're gonna thread our needle and i like my bunny eyes to be sleepy you can make whatever eyes that you want and i'm gonna start kind of like from where my corner is with my nose and i'm gonna make them look like this so like slightly pointed like upwards and then i don't know how i'm gonna tie it in yet <laughs> Then I'm gonna do the same thing on the opposite side. So like straight up in the corner. And the hard thing is making the hat symmetrical. You know what I mean? So like there's my little eyes. Now if I look on the inside and then I'm gonna go underneath a loop and tie a knot. So like go a little bit under a loop and then go under the loop that you create and pull it tight. And then do that again. And then with this extra 
I'm just weaving it in a little bit. I don't want it to be visible from the other side, so I'm just going in like every other one and cutting it off. And then I'll do the same thing with the other side and then repeat with the other strand. And there you have it. Thank you all for watching the bunny hat tutorial and I really hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you all for your lovely comments that you guys always leave underneath my videos. They really make my day. And make sure to let me know if you guys have any questions and I will respond as fast as I can. Make sure to subscribe to my channel and like the video. 